Hi everybody, Merry Christmas. I'll just do a quick video today because of the festivities everybody has going on. I appreciate all the feedback from yesterday's show. It's comforting to know I'm not the only one who doesn't appreciate their computer acting like a sentient being that's just coexisting in the office and apparently has brought along its friends and relations. I noticed right here when my computer crashed the other day, it said, your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. We're just collecting some error info and then we'll restart for you. Who is we? Please stop the collecting and get out of my house. Nobody asked you. I also noticed during the Windows update, my computer went ahead and said, hi. Shut up. Get over yourself. Shove a dot DLL pickle up your parallel port and load the operating system. <sighs> I'm okay. Look at this great headgear my wife got me for Christmas. It angers a lot of people, just the sight of it. But I like it. I got a couple questions and comments I want to share with you today. Talks with Dirt sent in a masterpiece that I need to share with you. It sheds some light on my Lego minifigures collection that I shared with you in number two. He says, I'll bet the leftover body parts are from the Lego official Chernobyl nuclear power plant kit. They look like the figures from the fireman part of the kit. Maybe the third from the left is one of the reactor operator figures. The kit was really cool and came with some bottles of iodine and cesium to throw all over the room, complete with Geiger counter so your parents can find all the fallout later after you are done playing with it. It was a hot kit in the late 1980s. <laughs> I wonder what its half-life is. <laughs> Bravo, sir. Very nice. Buck Downer had a question in regard to my Trail 90 video series. He asks, I have one of these, but cannot find a carb for it. That's the four bolt bottom on the float bowl. I have searched and searched and cannot get one. Any help would be greatly appreciated. So I do have a method that I use for finding obscure items. In fact, I've been using it a lot lately on the TE250. It goes like this. You have three friends in your search, Buck. Craigslist, eBay, and Discipline. We'll start with Craigslist. Go to your local Craigslist site, type your search criteria, and select all the nearby areas. Then save the page to the bookmarks and every day revisit it until you find what you need. Similar game plan for eBay. Search terms, sort by newest listings first, save it to your bookmarks and check it every day. It doesn't matter if you're looking for a Trail 90 carburetor, a vintage Louis Vuitton purse, or a Kickstarter for a 2007 TE250. You'll find what you're looking for. In time, the retail cosmos will align for you. So I hope that helps you find the part you need. In our life journey, time, whether it exists or not, is a variable we need to account for. In the past couple years, there have probably been hundreds of people trying to sell the carburetor that you need, you just weren't in the market at the time. Similarly, I find it really useful to document interesting ideas I have as soon as they come into my brain, even if I don't have an immediate use for them. A couple days ago, I recorded a drum line that popped in my head. Not sure what I'll use it for, but it's there, even if I forget about it. Unless the computer decides to delete it during an important update, it happens. Have a marvelous Christmas day. Thanks for watching.